What is up, everyone? Welcome to this episode of Car Vlog. Oh, yeah. Gonna make a video in my car now. Car Vlog. Oh, yeah. Gonna make a video in my car. Anyway, let's, uh, let's start with our movies today after our awesome intro. Uh, I just picked one. It is number 10 on the random and it's number 11 on my list. It is the matrix. I love the matrix. I remember in 1999 when I was stationed in Japan, we were at the Marine Corps air station Fatima, which is the base I was on. It's like a mountain that they leveled the government leveled to make it flat to put an airstrip on it. But over at the base theater, they were playing The Matrix, and uh, we went over and watched it, and it was uh, it was crazy. You got to put yourself back in that time, you know, to see a camera rotate like that or the CGI like that um, was a major step forward in cinema. And it's this crazy story. If you've never, everybody's probably seen The Matrix, but it's this crazy story about this guy who just feels trapped in his life, like something's not right in the world. And uh, he discovers that we're actually living in a computer simulation and the machines have taken over, you know, hundreds of years before. And there was some like war and uh, we're all like in these little cradles where we're plugged into the machines and we're just generating heat, which is the machine's power source. We're essentially their batteries, right? And uh, he finds out that inside this computer simulation, he can do anything he wants. He can be his own character, you know? And you can kind of fly and punch through walls and stuff. And it's just a really good action movie. And I, I like all the Matrix stuff. I know some people don't like certain parts of it or maybe certain movies, but I actually really enjoy the Matrix. I, I think it's a great story. It gives you something to think about. It's almost like three years ago, everything was going fine and someone hit a switch and all of a sudden we live in crazy town. You know what I mean? It's like we're living in a different computer simulation. But the Matrix. Matrix is awesome, man. Uh, Beat Ninja Gaiden Shadow on the Game Boy. It's a great game. I love that that it is a, a prequel to the Ninja Gaiden game on the Nintendo. And Ryu is like young in his training and he doesn't have all the ninja powers that he does in like say ninja guide in one or two you know and it's because of the limitations of the game boy you know he can't program 10 different power-ups but like he can do art of the fire wheel and you can hold up to five of them you don't need nimpo magic but the game the game looks and plays as it as you would expect on uh on the game boy it plays a little sluggish a little slow and it's really short there's only five levels they're pretty easy levels uh, Ryu has a grappling hook. So let's talk about that for a second. So Natsume has a game on Nintendo called Shadow of the Ninja. It's a great game. It's blue, right? Ninja Gaiden's red <laughs> when it comes to the cover art. But uh, so Natsume partnered up with Tecmo and Tecmo said, hey, we like ninjas too. Check this out. We'll put some red on there, some fire in the background. Bada bing, bada boom, Jackie. Oh, the bang. And out the door you go, Natsume. Thanks for playing, right? We have a Ninja Gaiden game for Game Boy. And uh, yeah, that's how it happened. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I saw some archival footage. So in this game, Ryu has a grappling hook. He can't gra He can't climb walls. So they give him this grappling hook. He can shoot it up and, you know, you pull yourself up to different different ledges. Um, like I said, the game is pretty easy. There's a couple couple tough spots, you know, where you got you to gotta know exactly what to do. Shoot a fireball, run, jump, slash, that kind of thing. But for the most part, the game is easy. The boss patterns are pretty easy. Um, I did a no death run of it, so you can too. But Ninja Gaiden Shadow is a, a expensive Game Boy game. So if you can emulate it, emulate it. Um, if if you want to go out and buy it, I, I would I would say it's a good game. So you're not really wasting your money. But yeah, thought Ninja Gaiden Shadow was really really good, and I think I gave it an A or an A minus. I got a good grade because it's a good game. It's first week back of school, so you're going to see some cars. This is an employee lot, so students, when they put in uh, Google, it tells them to bring it here for the school address, but really the student parking lot is over there. So they drive around here with the signs 
coming into the lot that says employee lot only and they drive around looking <laughs> crazy people are different i guess but uh, oh uh 10 year anniversary stream that went off awesome see this person is pulling around off he's making a u-turn on the sidewalk this person so 10 year anniversary stream went awesome. It's man, it's always good to see everybody, you know, from back in the day, all the longtime subscribers, um, the new new folks that are coming to the channel, kind of see all these awesome YouTubers. You know, we give a lot of shout outs, check out their channel, check out that channel. And uh, it's awesome to reminisce about the old days on YouTube because it was a lot different uh, than, it, than it is now, you know, uh, 10 years ago. And that's not even that much time this person is so confused right now. So, yeah, but I got to thinking, you know, about doing a uh, collection video. And uh, Henry recommended um, a PS1 collection. And, and I love PlayStation 1. It was that console that I bought when I was in Japan in 19... When I go to Japan, 1998. And then what happened was everybody found out that there was an electronic shop at the bottom of the hill. There's a student over here and she's like looking at me weird. And uh, anyway, so we go to the bottom of the hill and he would chip our PS one. So um, we could play burnt games and uh, Japanese games. And I wish I still had that console. I gave it to another buddy in the military when I was leaving. And um, it's so crazy. Because uh, we had a guy that like, burn, could burn CDs. And you got to understand, in 1998, this was like brand new cutting edge technology for people to own in their homes, right? To be able to burn a CD. And he would buy, you know, a $40 game like Siphon Filter on PlayStation 1. And he would say, who wants copies? Five bucks a piece. We'd pay, like, imagine 20 people, it's 100 bucks. And then he would burn 20 discs and he would just give us the disc and we could play Siphon Filter on our on our PlayStation 1s. And that's how I got introduced to, to Siphon Filter and Metal Gear Solid. What a game, right? But, uh, yeah, I was just kind of thinking about the old days, <laughs> pre-YouTube, pre and how different our lives used to be. But, yeah, anyway, we're going on eight minutes. Oh, um, I sent a box out to Retro Tiburon, so thanks, Mario, for that six-button Genesis controller. Oh, I also beat Sonic the Hedgehog for the first time, which is pretty cool. I actually beat it like three times in a row. It's a good game. Sonic's a good game. Um, and I got to send out a package to a uh, secondhand toy dealer this weekend. So I'll get that out to you, buddy, and I'll text you with the uh, the tracking number. And, uh, oh, Mr. Matthews, oh, my God. He sent me a 20-pound box. I'm not going to tell you what's in it, but you could probably guess, Micro Machines. And I will have that video posted on the Toy Freaks channel this weekend. So if you haven't subscribed to my toy channel, the Toy Freaks, I'll leave a link down below. This box is massive, massive. My daughter, who's a weakling, was at home and she's like, I can't even lift this in the house. I'm like, well, lift it up on the thing and then push it <laughs> to get it in the house. It is a massive box of vintage awesomeness that I can't wait to open and share with everybody. So I got a package I got to get out to uh, Mr. Matthews as well. We have a little bit of busy week coming up. It just sucks. I got to work today and tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like I want to get into this box as fast as possible, but uh, you know, got to pay the bills. Make good looking enough. I could probably pay them with my, my face, but anyway, oh my God, this is nuts. I need to get out of here. Anyway, nine minutes. What have you been playing? Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thanks for like, comment, subscribe, share, social media. <laughs> Car vlog!